wanted to give a brief review of the new Apache's Lab Pi HP SDR. Um, this software was designed by John Milton. He's a Golf Zero Oscar Romeo X ray, and it's also November 6 Lima Yankee Tango. The unit ties into the Apache Lab SDR uh, transceivers uh, via. A Ethernet cable off of a Raspberry Pi 3 which is controlling the unit itself in the HP SDR. It has a 12 volt input on the side and that has jumpers off to power the screen and it's powering the Pi through the ribbon cable off of the circuit board internally. Uh, the unit has three buttons here uh, top one controlling the mic and there's also a push button. They have alternate functions. This locks the screen. Uh, this one will control the tuning power and you can change the functions of the buttons themselves and this will control the attenuation. You do have, um, I have a Bluetooth mouse, the Logitech mouse hooked to my actual Pi so I can get to the menus and bring up all the functions. Um, you've got the sampling rates, uh, the mic inputs for the audio. Um, I need to change mine to the line in because I have mine mic connected to the rear DB25. Uh, you've got all the antenna settings like you do in the normal PC software. Right now I have everything on my one running to my 998 tuner. Uh, you can adjust the display, uh, the DSP, the output gain on the bands, uh, CW functions. Then you can go in and change all the RX and TX for the uh, tuning functions. And then this, when you go to exit, you can exit out of the software, which will take you back to the normal Linux image, reboot it or shut down, or you can just close it. Some of the buttons, when you do the function, will change this tune to MOX for power. You also have hard buttons across the bottom here that duplicate the input. So if you go to mode, you get the adjustments. And you can also touch the screen on it. The unit itself uh, from Giggle Parts is $5.99 fully assembled. I ordered the kit from India. Ended up being 350. I already had a 7-inch Raspberry Touch screen and an extra Pi 3 laying around. Uh, installed the image on the SD card, and I have this set up to auto boot to the software. I uh, have my G5RV right now. Uh, listen to a little bit of morning rag juice. Everybody coming in here real quick this morning, and uh, that's a good thing. So I don't have too much to report on. So But it's nice being able to have a standalone without having to use my laptop or my PC to control it. And uh, this can be connected to the power supply so I can carry it mobile. And then my uh, 200, I have sitting over on top of the uh, 998 tuner. And so far it's worked flawlessly. So the two paired together make a pretty good match. Thank you, 73s.